Today I'm going to tackle the driver's side valve cover on this 2011 F-150. We did the, uh, the passenger side the other day and now we're going to do the driver's side. I can only uh, do so much in a day so I have to split it out. But what I have here is the driver's side valve cover. It's, it's a NAP Auto Parts. They, I, they don't pay me or anything for mentioning them, but uh, I just wanted you to know where it came from. It's got all the gaskets, all the <clears throat> spark plug tubes, all the ports. Everything that you see has the rubber seal already in it. It's a plastic valve cover. They warp easily. Um, on this one, we have these two. And this right here, I'm not sure what that is to take off. And then the fill tube right here for the oil. And then a lot of other stuff on top. Yesterday, we struggled to get that other side done, but we did. And I want you to uh, follow along, see how we do on this side. It's going to be a little bit more complicated because there's a little bit more to take off. Hope you follow to the end. One of the first things that I'm going to remove is this tubing right here so I can see the valve cover down in there. But if I focus you in here just a little bit or zoom you in, hopefully you can see what I'm talking about here. Um, fill cap. I don't know what this is back here. There's a lot of vacuum lines, hoses, and just a lot of stuff that we got to get out of the way. So let me get this off here and expose the inner self and I'll take a few of the vacuum lines off and we'll see where we are in that and then I'll bring you back in. Okay, what you're seeing here is the top of the uh, valve cover. This came off. A little bit difficult it's spring loaded we had to crack this line and take this line right there off and remove we got all the uh, coil the coil packs out pulled out we had to loosen a couple of bolts right down in here uh, to get this line loose and we have just a little bit to do there in the back on on those uh, fittings right there and I think we would be ready to unbolt the, the valve cover and see if we can't get it popped loose. Like I said before I might I don't know if I said it on this but these seals around those spark plug tubes they get tight on there they kind of glue themselves fast so we might have to pop something in there to break those loose. I have the old head here, or the old valve cover here in front of me. For the most part, this came off the way it should have. There's a couple of things I need to do yet I haven't. Like these clips need to come out and transfer it over to the other one. This is the fill spout, just turns and comes out. This is a valve, just turns and comes out. This right here works best if you unhook both lines to it and bring the bolts holding it out together. It's a two-part component. Once the top is off, which is spring-loaded and has pressure in it but it releases as you let it come uh, come up once that's off you can pull this screw right here out and the whole thing will come out of there and at this this right here was difficult the reason it was is it had a bracket on it that went down to the uh, alternator 
and I couldn't get any movement out of that bracket so I had to loosen the bracket on the alternator. You got to reach in around it, loosen it and then I could get in here with a pry bar and get this loose so I could get to this bolt. There's a bolt here or a, a nut on, on either this one or this one you got to take off that has a bracket will come right off and then just go around and pull the screws out. You do have to get inside these ports right here and break these loose or you won't get this old one off if it's been on there a while. I do that with a flat screwdriver. I get down in there so I'm not touching the tube and I give it a good solid whack. It breaks that rubber loose around there. I can get to this one and this one and the same on the uh, passenger side with the back one. I had to pry it off, but with these two loose, that popped right off, but it left a little part of that seal on the tube, and I had to take a screwdriver and bump that, and then I brought the whole piece off at one time. Everything went good on pulling this off and putting it back on, except for one thing. What I just shared with you, I fully intended on making a video out of doing all that stuff. But I ran into a major problem that I wasn't anticipating, which caused a bit of frustration. And with the heat we had here in uh, eastern central Indiana yesterday, I, in my shop, as warm as it was, I just ran out of patience. But what happened was the spark plug in this last hole snapped and we couldn't get it out. I finally did get that spark plug out in one piece. Let me show it to you. Here's the spark plug. You take a close look at that, you can see that it bent just a little bit and snapped off porcelain, which I didn't know. So when I started to extract, extract this spark plug and I got it out, those porcelain pieces were down in around the plug and I didn't realize that. You know where this is going. Yes, some of these chars ended up down on top of my piston. And what I did is I got my vacuum shop vac out and I rigged a component on the end, duct tape and a water bottle to make a smaller hole. And I sucked a lot of that out of there by just doing that. But I still was uncomfortable with what had just happened. So I went and borrowed my son's camera and I put it down in the cylinder. Not only did I use a camera to check out the fragments on top of the piston and my vacuum cleaner or my shop vac over there and tried to suck out those particles. I used a wire with grease on the end. I was able to get a little bit out with that. But what I did to actually get that out of there was simply this. I put this all back together, everything, except for this last cylinder. I left the coil pack off and the plug out. And I had someone go in the truck and start the engine. It started right up and as soon as it did and it was on the compression stroke coming up, it blew that fragment right out. I saw it, a big chunk just fly right out of there. So the biggest part of this came out by leaving the plug open. Sounded a little rough, you know? running on five instead of six, but then we didn't leave it run very long. He shut it off, 
And then I had to go at it and put this all back together in here, but to do so, I had to take this off again because I didn't have to take completely off the plug. I couldn't get loose and I was afraid I was going to break it. And I couldn't get my coil pack in there. I could get the plug in okay, but I couldn't get the coil pack in there. So I loosened this up a little bit and had to take the lines loose. It was it wasn't very fun, but I was able to get that coil pack in. I put that all back together, bolted this all down, had everything buttoned up, and I started it and it ran perfectly. The only clicking noise I heard was in the belt, which it had that to begin with. And I've driven the truck probably Oh, maybe a dozen miles since I've done the valve covers and and things seem to be working just fine I'll test it out over the next few weeks and I'll let you know if anything develops in a short but that's the reason why I don't have the whole detailed video of this Frustration overcame me, but I guess what? I overcome the frustration. Well, we're going to call this video complete. If you have any comments you'd want to share with some of the uh, mishaps that you've had with valve covers, spark plug removal, or any tips on how to get fragments out of your cylinder, I would really love to hear them. I just do the best I can here in this shop. So please comment. And if you like what I bring and you want to keep uh, up with my videos, I'd encourage you to subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification so that when a new video comes out that, that you'd be notified. If you want to see a video where I started this project and why I started the project, go to this right here and it, it'll show you and give you the reason why I was doing this project to begin with. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Sometimes with frustrations. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.